Hey everyone, Eric on paper here. I'm Eric and let's get started. First off, with the holidays coming up, I am having a big sale at my Etsy store. Uh, I have original artwork, prints, etc. And uh, the link is down below if you want a really great gift for somebody. And if there's somebody you absolutely despise and want to give them a prank gift, still buy my stuff. I highly recommend it. Uh, next thing, Spider-Man 4 filming has been going very well. Uh, everybody asked for bigger updates instead of the smaller ones, so I just wait till we have a couple days of shooting under our belt, and then I make one bigger video that gets a lot of views. Thank you, I appreciate it. I will say, though, that I'm very happy with the results. We have a few days of filming scheduled for November, and uh, I think you'll all be pleased with the results. I've seen early cuts of the teaser trailer, uh, and it is looking exceptional. I'm very proud of everyone involved. Now, on to the main purpose of this video, which should make most of you tune out if you're here for Spider-Man 4 news. Uh, I got this fantastic book, uh, The Art of Comic Book Inking, published by Dark Horse Comics. And it is great. It talks a lot about uh, inking philosophy. It comes with a lot of tips for traditional artists. There's a chapter on digital inking. But what I want to do with is do a series on this book uh, because they have these wonderful uh, tear-out sheets done by very famous artists. They're produced in non repro blue ink, and you get the chance to... Uh, ink it yourself. Today we're going to look at Yell Kane, and I decided to ink a Conan piece of his as my first piece. Well the first thing I do is decide to ink it with a Kuratake brush pen, and it's the closest you can get to a, a brush effect without using an actual brush. Uh, mine has started to fall apart, and I didn't have a chance to order a new one in time. So, when I started this, I began inking uh, Conan's face, and uh, because that's really the uh, central point of any drawing. In fact, uh, an artist teacher of mine uh, said uh, that there's only two things that really matter when it comes to comic drawing. Good faces and good hands, everything else can kind of be forgiven. So, uh, that's why I always start with the face, and Overall, I really wanted to get a, a bit of that Silver Age feeling in there because uh, he used a lot of bold lines and I don't want to say simplistic as a derogatory term, but very simple but strong shapes that I didn't necessarily really want to clutter up too much. Maybe add some rendering or detailing because that's just what I like to do. The thing is though, uh, I'll is that as an inker, you need freedom to express yourself as an artist and your ideas. And one of the other great things about the book is they show you four or five different examples of uh, famous inkers and how they would handle a piece. Like one thing I noticed with Gil Kane's work is that a lot of the lines here are thinner and I wanted to make this foreground figure pop quite a bit so the folds in his face, uh, for example, I gave much thicker lines, and uh, I hop around the page. Uh, I have a hard time sticking to just one place because I figure, you know, it will get the love if I come back to it. And overall, I find it a more effective way to see if the overall composition is working. Now, the way this piece is structured, uh, Conan is, of course, our star, and... The other thing, too, is that I wanted to capture the crudeness of the age and not use a ton of rollers or super straight lines. Instead, I give it a more savage, gritty feeling. But like all that texturing work on the axe. Oh, and Conan's right shoulder, I made way too thick. Uh, for Or I wanted the above light source, so I'm just going to remedy that at the end of the video. Uh, but as you can see, just darkening the lines uh, on the underside to show that the light is coming from above and just doing a metal texture in there in my opinion helps the piece come to life some people like more detailing uh, less and that is the great thing about being an anchor it's all up to you to decide and working with incredibly talented artists like this is just great practice like 
Kane on this piece only penciled in a little bit of that helmet texture, and I assumed that he left the rest up to his anchor. And this character here, uh, trying to draw lines that don't uh, take away from Conan, and like this uh, very dramatic dead guy underneath Conan, he's mostly in shadow, so I'm not going to bother with a ton of super fine detailing except where the shadows would realistically be indicated, but uh, no disrespect to the man, I didn't want to take the Vince Coletta approach and just black things out if I didn't feel like inking them. Like, this section here uh, was left incomplete, probably because the Conan logo would be placed over that, but still, as a standalone piece, I kind of felt I needed to ink it in. Then I just went in with Micron and started adding super fine details and textures. Here, though, I'm using a simple whiteout gel pen uh, to go in and give negative space to textures. Uh, one of the examples in the book that I really liked showed uh, a wood texture accomplished this way. So here I am ripping off a, I mean, taking influence from that inking style. And pretty soon I'll be using the same technique to correct, see that, that awful job I did with Conan's shoulder. Now I'm erasing it, and no one will ever know. Well, I mean, unless you watch this video, but please don't, don't snitch. Look, I'll, I'll give you a dollar. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm not giving you a dollar. But anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun working on this piece, and we'll uh, work through the rest of the book with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Gil Kane was very critical of the inkers that uh, touched his work, so not sure how he would have felt about mine, but I gave him my best shot and I ended up enjoying it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to doing another of these for you. And in the meantime, keep telling or inking your stories. <laughs> no, I'm not sponsored by this book. I just really like it.